Antihistamines are drugs those antagonize the effects of histamine in the body. They are used mainly in allergic conditions. There are two main categories of antihistamines, the H1 antagonists and the H2 antagonists. Among them, the H1 antagonists are used in controlling allergic conditions. H1 antagonists prevent the action of histamine by binding to H1 receptors in the body. These drugs have several effects in the body. They antagonize histamine, they have anti-allergic effects, many produce CNS depression, many of them have anti-muscarinic effects, many can prevent motion sickness, and many block alpha adrenoceptors. <coughs> they antagonize histamine and thus can prevent effects such as intestinal spasm, bronchoconstriction, pruritus, pain, vasodilation, etc. These effects can be obtained only if the drug is taken before the exposure of the body to the allergens. The first generation antihistamines are the ones producing CNS depression as they can pass the blood-brain barrier with much easiness. The anti-muscarinic or anticholinergic action could bring forward effects similar to atropin in the body. The effects on motion sickness is thought to be either due to the anti-muscarinic effect or by inhibiting histamine receptors in the brain. The alpha adrenoceptor blockade can reduce the blood pressure. The H1 antagonists are classified in two, the first generation H1 antihistamines and the second generation H1 antihistamines. The major drugs coming under first generation H1 antihistamines are promethazine, diphenhydramine, dimenhydronate, phenyramine, chlorpheniramine, cyproheptadine, meclizin, buclizin, clemastin, etc. Promethazine, diphenhydramine and dimenhydronate are highly sedating ones and these, especially promethazine, are used against motion sickness. The second generation antihistamines are newer drugs and they have any of the properties such as a much lower CNS depression, a much lower anticholinergic effect and having additional mechanisms against allergies such as action on leukotrienes, etc. The major drugs included in this category are citrazine, levocitrazine, loratadine, desloratadine, fexofenadine, ibastin, azelastin, etc. The H2 antagonists are drugs that prevent the action of histamine binding to the H2 receptors, which are found in the parietal cells of the stomach. This action can reduce the amount of gastric acid production in the stomach. The major drugs in this category are rantodin, simetodin, famotodin, roxetodin, etc. The major uses of these drugs are against gastric and duodenal ulcers, gastroesophageal reflux disease, etc. If you want me to create more videos like this, please hit the like and share button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.